Hi everyone and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milenis and in today's episode of Calligraphy Masters Thursday Reviews I have something very special. This is a glass pen, one of a kind glass pen. It's super unique and uh, I'm super excited to show it to you guys. Before I show you the pen itself and start talking about it, I just want to mention a few things. This video is not sponsored and uh, there is a lot of people who reach out to me to review their products but uh, you have to know even though you see videos uh, where I review products. I review products which I only enjoy, which I recommend to other people. I wouldn't review products which I don't like and if I do such, I will be honest in my reviews. If there is something which I don't like about them, I will always tell you. Why I'm saying this? Because sometimes when the videos are sponsored, the brand or the person, he requires to have more like positive uh, feedback on the pens. This is something which I'm really excited and I definitely will recommend to a lot of people. This video is gonna be separate in three parts. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to make those uh, CMTR or Calligraphy Masters Thursday reviews. For now, I think it's gonna be three parts. In the beginning, some basic info about the pen. In the second section, testing the pen itself. And in third part, I'm giving my rating about it. Are you ready to see the pen, guys? <laughs> Wait. If you want to win one of those prints behind me, watch the video till the end, find the hidden message and comment it below. He reached out to me end of last year and yeah, as I told you, we offered to review a glass pen and uh, my first reaction was like, oh, another glass pen because a lot of people, they contact me to send me those glass pens, you know. Uh, before, before the dude contacted me, I thought there is only uh, this kind of pens from glass. I've searched something similar to this, but I, I just thought that nobody is making anything like this. When I asked him in the email, what exactly is this about? And he explained, I was super excited and I wanted to get my hands on it. He sent it. I know it took one or two weeks to come to Bulgaria, but thanks to the amazing customs of Bulgaria, I had to wait like two, three months to receive it. Let's see what I'm actually talking about. The papers for this video that I'm gonna be using are Molotov Basic Marker Pad 120GM Arteza Sketchbook 300GM This is super nice paper Then I have those loose sheets 165GM Moleskin Note Pad Book I don't know Whatever it is It's a, I don't know how, how many GM it is but it's a thin and smooth paper Let's finally jump to this. Most of the glass pens available online and which actually I knew are something that looks like this. It can have different colors, different way of shaping and designing the pen, but basically the tip is pretty much something like this. What's make this glass pen so unique and one of a kind, I think I've been teasing you quite a lot, so I guess it's time to show you, is that it's a broad edge glass pen, guys. First of all, the box is super nice. I like it. I like that you have to pull it out this way and see the difference. It has this protection cap for the tip. Wow. It is around 15 centimeters long and the broad edge tip, nip, whatever. I, I believe it's three millimeters or something like this. Different colors inside, it's... Uh, I mean, they're all colorful, but this is some different craftsmanship, different colors of glass, and I don't know if you see everything as good, but wow, that's, that's unique. I mean, that's crazy. It's beautiful. Uh, I can definitely see that uh, the craft in it is with high skills, even though I have no idea of uh, the craft with uh, bending glass or whatever it's called. I can see that there is a lot of attention to detail, a lot of hard work put in this and uh, the guy who makes them is uh, Lucas. He's based in Japan. His website is hanabiscoreglass.com Hanabi Glass Studio, Lucas Mahoney. He didn't act towards me like this is a sponsored video as I explained in the beginning. He just wanted me to 
try his pen and I said yes only because this is a broad edge pen. Uh, I thought I have a glass pen, I don't need any more of these. I like to support small brands and small craftsmen, but uh, it has to be something that interests me at least, you know. I believe he makes them one at a time. I'm not sure about the price, but it's definitely not like the cheap ones, which are those. You can find those for, I don't know, from 5 up to 10, 15 dollars, depends, sometimes even more. But this is definitely not cheap glass pen. Yeah, on uh, his website you can find some other glass pens and some uh, glass necklaces and accessories, earrings, pendants, stuff like this. I appreciate a lot people like him. I want to give them a shout out. If there is anyone else who does some nice pens like this or some other pens and uh, you need a shout out, send me an email. If it's something cool and nice, I don't mind reviewing it, guys. But time to check how this baby writes. I have the here uh, Colorex watercolor Fuvo Fauve Fauve color. I don't know. This is not the best color, but I want to check this pen already. Here I'm gonna put some Sumi ink. Try it with watercolor and with some Sumi. Let's have fun, guys. If you are one of calligraphy masters gang. Please like the video right now. This motivates me to make even more videos, guys, and to put even more time into them. So, give some likes. Enough with the jokes. I don't think I need a big guidelines. As I said, this is. Oh. This is, oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Let me show you something, guys. Those pants were two, but. <laughs> This is what happened to the second one and I, I just almost dropped, <laughs> I almost broke it. I hope, <laughs> I hope I don't destroy it before this episode ends. Wow, this was so close. Um, okay, I'm not shaking, but... Okay, I see some sharpness already, like, I think there is some specific way you have to write with this pen. Uh, I mean, I can't explain it, <laughs> I'm just feeling it. It's definitely something new and different from everything that I've <laughs> written with. Wow, wow, wait, wait. I'm also not used to write with such, uh, <laughs> what is it called, uh, thick pens. Because I'm not used to it, it's very, very unusual for me right now. And yeah, the, the, I don't know if you can see guys, but there is certain sharpness in uh, different ways to the tip and I still have to learn how to use it in its full potential. I mean, this is the first time I'm writing with it. By changing the angles that you touch the paper, like this. I see calligraphers writing this way, but I'm not used to it, so let's see. I'm actually surprised by the sharpness of the letters, like, wow. First of all, mm, we got similar sharpness only from Pilot Parallel pens. And second of all, I'm not used to writing that small, which means... Uh, what, am, <laughs> what am I writing? I even forgot what I'm writing. It, it's hard to write and talk at the same time, guys. I know I can just uh, record voiceover, but there are different thoughts in my head when I'm writing, so... Oh, <laughs> I was supposed to write a glass broad edge pen, but glass bra, okay, <laughs> maybe there is a glass bra. Glass, let's say, Brazil, <laughs> just not to leave it as a bra. Uh, shout out to Brazil, if there is anyone watching from Brazil, hit the like uh, button right now and let me know in the comments where in Brazil are you watching from. Let's try the Sumi. I must say, it's, it's tricky, like, uh, I haven't felt this <laughs> feeling from some time. It's whenever I write with some new tool that I never written before, like brush pens until <laughs> a year ago. And there is, you know, when you start writing with a tool, a pen that you've never written with before, the first few minutes, hours, days, it's fun, it's, it's, it's different, you don't have the 
full control that you usually have with other tools that you are using more frequently. But this is also a kind of fun part writing with new tools. Sometimes, you know, I go writing really fast, even though it's not so beautiful. It's just something, I don't know, I've got with the pilots. But, uh, and I just felt how I, was, how I was starting spinning my writing right now, but then I was like, okay, man, this is a glass pen. <laughs> Be more careful, slowly. And when you press really, oh, <laughs> wait, this is so confusing. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but when you are a bit pressing there, those lines, you can see them in the stroke, which is pretty cool, but at the same time, you cannot really press because you can probably break it. Let's try it. The Moleskin. I don't know if I'm gonna use both watercolor and uh, zoom ink on all the papers because I feel they're pretty much the same. I mean, uh, in order of way of writing and uh, consistency of the liquid, I don't think there is a big difference. So yeah, we will just keep which, which whichever place I decide to dip. This is like much thinner paper and much smoother. Maybe it's just me, but this glass pen, it's really hard to write with, I mean, not this specific glass pen, but uh, with glass pens in general, because it's slippery. I mean, while I'm writing, I feel how it slips in certain areas of the hand where I hold it, and this is super confusing. Because it is so sharp on certain areas of the tip when there is a thinner paper it cuts into it i don't know if you can see but i, I felt it a few times and now it just cut the paper well and what i thought there is almost no ink and what this is crazy <laughs> Okay, it holds a lot of ink, that's, that's uh, checked. I don't want to lose a lot of uh, time on all the papers. Let's move to the Molotov uh, basic marker pad, 120G. Yes, I know it says a marker pad, but uh, different paper. And uh, it's kind of a funny, funny paper. It has this bluish to it, which I'm not such a fan of. But until now, all the three papers are with uh, one of another way with smooth surface and the last paper is grainy on all three papers i have kind of the same feelings and uh, funny stuff that they do to me in the pen so i'm really excited to see if it's gonna perform as i am thinking on the grainy paper because it is tricky to write on a glossy surface or just smooth surface in general and it's not necessarily to be glossy it's funny i mean it's definitely funny because i feel like not having the usual control it's definitely a challenge for me <laughs> right now i feel like writing with this pen is a challenge because uh, i mean it's a challenge to write with all kinds of new pens but it's even extra challenge when you write for the first time and you have to record for YouTube and you guys are watching and it's, it's even more funny. I'm just not having all the control that I usually have. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I guess I'm just excited to see if, to find out if, if I'm correct that it's gonna be nice. Okay, this is three, three G, 300 GM. I mean, you can see it's quite a thick paper. On this side, it's it's kind of grainy. There is some kind of pattern of it, and this is smooth. Let's see. This is my <laughs> last hope. I'm confused. There's definitely 
something going on this paper, but it's maybe because I'm so not used to write with such small tips and I'm having hard times. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Wow. The smooth surface on of the 300 GM paper, it's, it's, it's like butter. I like the way the mm, tip interacts with the paper and uh, the strokes are really sharp. <laughs> wow, actually wow. Nice, that's nice. Uh, very nice. <laughs> yes, wow, that, guys, this is the paper. I'm so excited right now. A few moments ago, I was almost getting annoyed. I was like, is this just a fairy tale pen? <laughs> Looks nice, everything nice, but okay, this this paper, nice and smooth. And yeah, let's, let's uh, before I discuss other stuff, guys, let's uh, take a few moments to, because I've thought about it while I'm writing here. Uh, what's the purpose of this pen? And seriously, I mean, it's a great pen. It's one of a kind for sure. I don't know if he, if it's a new product that he's planning to be releasing, if it's gonna make a lot of them, but it's one of a kind pen and uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a craftsmanship, piece of art in itself, but I don't see myself writing with this pen. Like, uh, if, if you watch me for some time, you know, I break pens, I break pens and I, pray, I break them a lot. And while I'm writing here, there were a few times where I was like, whoa, whoa, be easy, dude, be easy, because this is a great new pen and you don't have to break it <laughs> in there. I don't really see a purpose for this pen. Like, if, Lucas, if you're, watching, if you're watching, dude, this is nothing personal, you know? It's just uh, me giving my honest thoughts about it. I love your pen, I think it's an amazing piece of art, it's yeah, it's a pen as well, but uh, I'm trying to figure out in my some, some scenarios in my head that I'm gonna use this pen and I don't, I can't think of such scenarios, you know, probably just, I don't know, if somebody comes at home and I'll be like, yo dude, check what pen I have, I'm gonna show it, maybe I'm just gonna write a name or something with it, but first of all, I'm afraid to not break it, uh, that's what I'm talking about. This just fell uh, fell from the table to the uh, floor and it broke. And uh, But this is a cheap pen as well, you know? It's, it's cheap and it's not such a big deal, but if this breaks, first of all, this is so much uniquer and it's not cheap, so if it, if it breaks, that's gonna be huge pain in the... Mm. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, the purpose of this pen is probably, it's just cool to have, to have it at home, as I said. If somebody comes, you show it, you know, flex a bit, <laughs> why not? If you have some calligraphy friends, yeah, you show it to him, maybe give him a try, if you're not afraid that he's gonna break it. When I spilled all the ink, funny idea came to my mind to see how long you can write with a single dip. So I'm cleaning it to make sure there is no ink left. Okay, it's funny because here you can see a few letters. I, I thought like the ink is over, but depending on the angle of which you hold the pen, <laughs> there is ink coming out of somewhere. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, we got from A to V almost the whole alphabet, which is pretty insane actually. Okay, it's time to give my rating. Let me first just really quick clean it and put it back in the box because I don't want another like this. If, you, if this is the first time that you watch the CMTR, I'm gonna give rating in uh, six different categories. Uniqueness, quality, price, accessibility, durability, and cool factor. 
you can play along with me and based on what you've seen or if you interacted with the reviewed pen you can uh, give your ratings in the comments below uh, uniqueness uh, this is the most unique pen that I've reviewed in this series so far so definitely a six star I'm not sure if there's gonna be something that close to uniqueness in the future episodes but who knows maybe one of you is right now watching is some cool craftsman who also makes some cool pens and thinking of writing me an email to info at calligraphymasters.com who knows <laughs> quality as I said in the beginning the, even though I don't understand from this there you can see the quality is very high Super skills, I give quality 6 stars. Price, as I said, I don't know the exact price. Once I finish recording this video, I will drop an email to Lucas and ask him the price. So it will pop up somewhere here on the screen. The price is... <laughs> yeah, it's super unique, one of a kind pen. But at the same time, as I mentioned, what's the purpose of this pen? I don't know. For price? Nothing personal because, I mean, for all the ratings, it doesn't matter what I say. This is just my opinion, guys. So for the price, I'll give it a three stars. Accessibility. You can get the pen only on hanabi.scoreglass.com. I believe he ships them internationally, but still, it's, it's not maybe easy for everyone to get them. So accessibility, I'll give four stars. Durability. Oh man, <laughs> which is more breakable, glass or plastic? My personal rating for durability is gonna be 3 stars because it's just me. You see what I do with them. Maybe it's much stronger. I don't wanna test it. Cool factor, no, no thoughts about it. Uh, cool factor, 6 stars, definitely. And here is the old score. Let me know what, what rating you give to the pen, guys. As I mentioned, I'm probably almost never gonna write with this pen. But it is one of a kind, it's not cheap, so if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll give the pen away guys. We have a deal, also there will be probably here up in the corner a poll, let me know what tools do you want me to see reviewing in next uh, CMTR. I have some Elite pens, which are super nice, they are done by the same guy who makes the Pratic pen. I have some current brush pens, which are also, I haven't tried them, but I've seen people writing with them and I think they are also super cool. Okay, I just said probably there is not gonna be more unique too and I already actually am holding something super unique. The 9mm Pilot Parallel Pen collaboration with Calligraphy Masters. Uh, I'm not gonna say more about it. Let me know which of those three pens you want to see next uh, Thursday reviewed. If you are still watching, thank you for making it this far in the video. You are one of the True Calligraphy Master Gang members. So I appreciate you a lot. Help me get 10,000 likes on this video so I can give this baby to one of you. Uh, click the subscribe button. This shows you appreciate the content. And by clicking the bell icon, you tell YouTube what you want to watch. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, keep writing.